training for removing a glass aluminum door with pivot hinges. These doors sometimes are referred to as Vista wall doors. That's the manufacturer uh, that usually manufactures them. Sometimes we call them Adams Right doors. We call them Adams Right doors oftentimes because the lock on the edge of the door is made by Adams Right. It's the most common lock you'll find in this application. So today, though, we're going to remove this door from its hinges and put it back on. There may be times where you'll have to enter the building by removing the hinges. Maybe you're going to have to make a repair. Uh, perhaps you've lost some pieces down inside the door. Whatever the reason is, we're going to show you how to remove this door. First, we start off by removing the closer. So let's go move okay. the closer. Okay, first to remove the, the closer, we're not going to take the closer off the door. We're just going to simply disconnect it. We can disconnect it one of two ways, either by removing the two screws uh, that hold the arm onto the door, or by just separating the arm from the closer. Today we're going to separate the arm from the closer. The reason is, is each time you remove these screws, uh, it weakens the screws. But you can remove this bolt as often as you want, and it's not going to weaken anything. Okay? Okay, now we're going to remove the arm. I've taken my drill. You can use a screwdriver or a, ra a ratchet, uh, however you want to do it. But I've taken a nut driver on my drill, and I've set the 7 16 which is the side of this bolt. And I'm just going to back this bolt off. Here we go, short bolt. This arm will come down and out like that. So we remove the arm from the closer. Next, now the door is free, free flowing. We're going to remove the uh, hinges here. So I want to get a close-up of those hinges there so you can see there's three screws, one, two, three. I'm now going to back out those screws. The screwdriver you need is generally a number three. Uh, the, the, the usual screwdriver you use in normal residential is a number two. But for commercial, most things use a number three bit. And it's just a little fatter bit. If you have one that's too small, fortunately it will... Uh, Strip the screw, we don't want to do that. We removed all three screws from the pivot hinge, and now you're going to see how easy the door's going to come. So now we've freed the door from the hinge, and you might want to get a picture of what the hinge screws look like in this case. Sometimes this is cut out, and sometimes it's in there like this. But, all right, now we've got the door off, we laid it down, I removed the, the hinge from the top. This is simply connected by a spring-loaded clip here. Why don't you come up by and take a look at this. The top of this door has a spring-loaded pivot at the top. And that's what holds this into place. All right. Now we're going to put this back into place. So we put it back in first. We're not going to do it in the opposite direction we took it apart. Because uh, I'm going to screw this in first. So, why don't we get a shot of the bottom pin down here. Also down here you'll see the bottom pivot that the hinge is going to sit on, and that's this part right here. So when we put the door back on, all we're simply going to do is put the door back up, set the bottom on the pivot, like that. Come around here, we're simply going to push down the pivot from the top until it snaps into place, like that, just that simple. Now we can shut the door and reattach the arm, and the job will be done. Okay, so now all you've had to do is just reattach the arm to the closer and you've been able to successfully remove the door, put the door back on. It really only took me just a couple minutes. So